I'm going to test the download speed of the Rico Theta Z1. The SE2 showed an average download speed of less than 4 megabits a second. The maximum speed is influenced by the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency band. A superpower of the Z1 is that it can use 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency band. Using OpTheta, you can see that I'm using a Rico Theta Z1 with firmware 2.01. Using the API command camera.list files, we can see the video files by setting the file type to video. We're going to grab the file URL from one of the video files and drop it into curl. Once we start the curl download, the download speed with the Z1 at 5 gigahertz rapidly gets to 20 megabits a second. We're going to let it run for just a couple minutes and see what eventually it reaches. Right now it's at 20 four megabits a second. The 1.8 gigabyte video file took one minute 25 seconds to download completely at an average download speed of approximately 22 megabits a second. We're getting five to eight times the speed of the SC2. But what happens if we move the camera further away? Let's put it about eight meters away, having the Wi-Fi signal having to pass through the double wall of the house. I'm now placing the Z1 outside on a metal table. The 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal will have to pass through the wall of the house as well as go the distance. At a distance of 8 meters and going through a double wall house, the speed, the average speed of the Z1 for the download was roughly 900k. This is approximately the same range as the SC2 at 2.4 gigahertz. I next move the Z1 further away. I think it's about 16 meters away from the laptop at this stage. The signal is going at still at 5 gigahertz and has to travel through the double wall house. I place the Z1 at the chair on the edge of my garden. After moving the camera further away to about 16 meters, the speed dropped down to zero. This is with the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi attempting to pass through the, the walls of the house. I switch the Z1 back to 2.4 gigahertz for another series of tests to more uh, accurately compare it to the SC2. Placing the Z1 right next to the computer, I saw an average download speed of 5 megabits a second. This is a fair bit faster than the SC2, but it's you know maybe like 50% faster. It's not the you know 500 to 800% uh, increase that we saw by switching to 5 gigahertz. I was curious if the Z1 at 2.4 gigahertz would show a little bit better performance than the SC2, so I put it back outside at 8 meters away from the laptop. At 8 meters away, using 2.4 gigahertz and passing through a double walled house, the Z1 saw an average download speed of about 2.2 megabits uh, a second. This is a fair bit faster than the 5 gigahertz when it's passing through the wall, as well as quite a bit faster than the SC2, which was under 1 um, megabits a second. So it's about twice as fast, maybe more than twice as fast as the uh, SC2 under the similar circumstance, which was a, uh, which, which was a bit surprising. Flush with confidence, I put the Z1 back in my the corner of my backyard, about 16 meters away. All the signals also passing through the wall of my house. Let's see what it does. Unfortunately, at 60 meters away and passing through the walls of the house, the speed dropped down to zero. This is at 2.4 gigahertz. So, in all three tests, the Z1 at 2.4 gigahertz, at 5 gigahertz, as well as the SC2, uh, it can't transmit a good signal at 16 meters away. With the camera within 0 0.5 meters of the laptop, the Z1 saw 22 megabits a second. This is six times faster than the SC2. At eight meters away, the Z1 is about twice as fast as the SC2 for download. In general, if you have to pass through some walls, uh, 2.4 gigahertz is probably better. The reason for the, S, the, the faster speed of the Z1 at 2.4 gigahertz is likely due to a better chipset for the Wi-Fi inside the camera. At uh, 16 meters, nothing worked. It is passing through a wall. 
likely due to higher cost and thus higher quality components for the Wi-Fi chipset, the Z1 is showing better performance in almost every situation for the file or the large video download. It is much more expensive and thus you do need to weigh the performance versus the cost and the value to your business. Subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear from you about what you want to see as we uncover the mysteries of the Ricoh Theta camera line.